two numbers are congruent modulo n if both have the same remainder when divided by n. So that's the essence of basic modular arithmetic. I'm going to show you a quick shortcut as I understand it. Here we have the triple bar symbol for congruence. So the statement here is that A is congruent B mod N or A is equivalent to B mod N where mod is an abbreviation for modulus. So the key thing is the value of N has to divide A and B with the same remainder. And that's what makes A and B congruent. So the shortcut I'm telling you about is simply to replace the congruence symbol with a minus. And I'm saying this figuratively in your mind. Make this a minus. And then you can just think about the difference between A and B. And then that makes it very, very easy to understand and solve these congruent statements. We just need to determine if the difference between A and B is evenly divisible by N, A and B being the numbers on either side of the congruence sign, and N being the number in the parentheses. So the fact that the modulus is in parentheses is really just a convention. Uh, in the first example, we have 12 congruent 7 mod 5. And that holds true because 12 minus 7 is 5. In the second one, we have 9 is congruent 3 mod 6. And that holds true because 9 minus 3 equals 6. And it would also be true if we had mod 3 or mod 2, because both of those are even divisors of 6. Third case, we have a negative number, minus 11, and it's congruent 4 mod 15. And the way to understand that is minus 11 minus 4 is minus 15, and we don't worry about the sign. So that holds true. 15 is congruent 19 mod 4, and that holds true because 15 minus 19 is minus 4. Again, we don't need to worry about the sign. 13 congruent 6 is congruent 6 mod 7, and that's correct because 13 minus 6 equals 7. So you got the idea. So uh, you can actually, you know, given the obviously given A and B, you can calculate N very, very easily or some of a um, you know, some other way. So you had uh, A and N, you could calculate B, or B and N, you calculate A, or whatever. So the congruence relation holds if the modulus is the same as the difference of A and B, or some other divisor of it. So that's just the rule there, simple. So why does this work? Well, it's really a simple idea. And um, I guess it's a little bit counterintuitive, but it does work. So when you subtract one number from another, uh, the difference divides each number with the same remainder. And you can test this for yourself. The common difference between two numbers gives the common remainder of division by a third number. So in this example, I've got 20 and 11, and I've drawn lines for them approximately, and then I'm so the difference is 9, and I've shown that we're minus 9. And then if you look at 11 minus 9, you have a remainder of 2. And then if you multiply 9 by 2, you get 18 minus 20 equals 2. So the remainders are the same. And that's how it works. Thank you.